Hey Andrew, hi Bree. Hey, the holidays are almost here. Dr. Woods, how are you? Hey, pretty good. Hi Bree, how you doing? Yeah, I came in with Bree because I wanted to ask you some questions. Mm -hmm. See, Bree, stats are good. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, Yeah, Bree? I wanted to ask you about some things I'd heard and I didn't know whether or not they were true. Oh, okay. One of the things, chocolate. Like, is that good or bad? Oh, not, uh, good for you and I, but not good for your pet. Oh. So uh, around the holiday seasons, if there's chocolates coming in, you don't want to leave them lying around like you're here on the table because in fact, Fine for you and I, but if someone like Brie gets into this, it could cause problems with vomiting or diarrhea. Or she could have even neurologic signs. So have to be careful around chocolates all the time, but especially around Christmas. And in fact, I'm going to help you by getting rid of some of this chocolate for you. Oh, okay. Well, that's the end of my treat for this evening. Anyway, so that's chocolate. But are there any other foods I should know I should be careful about? Well, similarly, if there's going to be, you want to keep Brie on the same diet that she's used to. So you don't want to have your pet suddenly getting on different types of food if everybody's coming in and having parties and dinners and things like that at Christmas, because in fact, that could cause problem with her as well. Oh, okay. So keep her on the same food, no treats then, even though it's Christmas. Well, get her on her usual treats. But if you had parties or if you actually got invited to parties, right. you wouldn't want to have people leaving food around for her because that could be a problem for her. Okay. But it's okay to give her some of the drinks though, surely. Oh, no, no. And once again, you have to be careful if people started, if, we, if you and I ever got invited to parties with Brie, then we may find that people will be leaving their drinks around and then someone like Brie could get into them and she can get into a lot of problems with intoxication as well. Okay, because she does like drinking some of the drinks around the house. Ah, Brie. So not in future. Okay, no. Brie, we're going to have to stop that, eh? Now, what about the Christmas tree? Now, if you've got tinsel there, surely that's good for the dogs and cats to play with. Well, no, something like this that's long like that could get caught in their esophagus or actually in their stomach. So you really have to watch with things like this, especially around cats. Oh, okay, so much more so about cats than mm -hmm. I've got to be careful. Well, if Brie's a chewer, this could also be a problem though for her as well. She is, okay. Now, I've got a bauble here. Surely that's fine, isn't it, to have lots of those around? Well, once again, you just want to be careful that she's not left unsupervised. So something like this, if she broke it or swallowed it, it could get a sharp objects. So these sort of things you'd probably put probably pretty high up on the tree. Or on the other hand, you want to make sure that she's never left unsupervised around the tree with all the, oh, the okay. Uh, ornaments. Okay, I'll put the ornaments up. But the last thing we put on the tree, it's always the lights every year. Uh -huh. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with those, is there? Well. Once again, you just have to be careful because with some of these long wires like this, some cats and dogs like to chew on them. And unfortunately, they could actually get electrocuted with that. So again, you want to be careful that they're not left unsupervised. Okay. Yeah, you keep telling me, keep an eye on the dog and the cat all the time when they're in the room. Well, just right? during the holiday season, there's lots of things going on. There's lots of excitement. There's even a guy in a big red suit, hopefully comes to your house, sure. if you've been good. Yeah. And so with that sort of thing, you want to make sure that your pet's not left unsupervised because they could get into a lot of trouble. Mm, okay, on the subject of Christmas presents, which hopefully <gasps> there will be some this year, um, are there any things that we shouldn't be putting under the tree in presents? Well, just have to watch again with presents. If they're small presents that some dogs and cats are going to chew on them, especially if anyone does things like wrapping food in the presents, someone like Brie is going to go ripping through there, and again, it could get stuck in her throat. Oh, gee, so even presents I've got to be careful about. Mm -hmm. So no food in presents. And keep the presents big enough so that she can't swallow them and she starts chewing them, is yep. that right? And never leaving her unsupervised with your tree with all its ornaments and hopefully with all our presents. Oh, okay. Oh, now, what about the tree though? Surely there's nothing wrong with the nice tree we get in every it's year. A, that's a nice tree you've got there, Andrew. The concern I'd have with the tree though, just be careful that some dogs and cats like to chew on the tree, so you have to be careful there again. Also, you want to make sure that your tree is well stabilized because in fact, if some cats jump onto the tree, you don't want to have the tree come falling down on them. Now, I noticed you had a poinsettia here. Now, I heard some rumor that those could be dangerous, but is that true? Well, they're not as dangerous as many people think. However, they are, if you're a dog or cat who licks at plants in general, the sap in them can be pretty irritating. And so the cat or dog may do things like vomiting, diarrhea, irritating, things like that. So you have to, once again, watch out with your pet in case your pet is a chewer on plants. Are there any things I need to be to watch out for when it's this cold? Well, just like yourself, and certainly with the kids as well, you just want to make sure she doesn't get into trouble with hypothermia. So if it's going to be cold outside, you need to make sure she has a well-protected area, that she doesn't get wet if the wind chill kicks in. She's got a pretty good coat there at first, she so she's pretty good. So she's but some right. dogs don't do as well. Well, you still want to watch with Bree, though. If she gets wet and it's a cold, windy day, you don't want to leave her in the backyard unattended because, oh, in fact, okay. she could get into trouble as well. Oh, okay. And the other thing I heard about, the antifreeze could be dangerous. Is that oh, true? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's why you have to be careful. The antifreeze tastes sort of sugary, so some cats and dogs like to lick that off the ground. But unfortunately, it's really toxic to their kidneys and actually could be lethal and lead to death. 
So what you have to be careful there is when you're filling your car with antifreeze, you gotta be careful not to spill it, or if you do spill it, to clean it up right then because, and make sure that someone like Bree doesn't get into places like the garage or something like that and get into the antifreeze. Oh yeah, I always spill half of it when I put it in the car. But you're telling me if she got anywhere near it, she would actually actively drink it, is that mm -hmm. right? And then you've, it's much better to prevent it than to have to try and treat Indeed. her for I'll keep for her out of the garage in future. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the last thing is, lots and lots of my friends give away puppies and kittens to pals at this time of the year. Mm -hmm. You don't think that's a good idea? I don't think so. I think there's so much going on during the holiday season. It's such an exciting time. And here you're about to make a commitment, you and Bree, mm -hmm. to a new cat or dog for a number of years. You want to have a calmer time of the year to be thinking about that. So probably be best to Think about that, but then do that after the holiday seasons are over. Okay, yeah, we were going to get one, but we only started thinking about it the other day. So you're telling me, wait a few weeks, mm -hmm. and then if we're still convinced at that point, then go ahead. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Well, Bree, I think that's everything I wanted to talk to Dr. Woods about. Thanks ever so much, Dr. Well, Woods. have a good Christmas, and Andrew. You. Have nice a good Christmas, Bree. Come on, Bree. Let's head off. Hey, come on. That's it.